Hi, my name is Sabrina Schacher. I'm a pharmacist. I made the acquisition of the data in this cancer center in Basel in Switzerland. Here the entire workflow is digitalized, which means that the physician enters the treatment and the nurse carries it out. We investigated the application of fentanyl patch, a strong painkiller. It delivers drug to the skin service and provides constant drug delivery to the general circulation for several days. According to manufacturer guideline, the renewal of the patch should occur every 72 hours. Some researchers recommend early replacement every 48 hours. The reasons for the early replacement are mostly unknown. I extracted all administrations of Durogesic matrix patch from the electronic medical database over the past four years. In addition, I surveyed nurses, physicians and pharmacists about their personal experience with fentanyl patch. We aimed at assessing firstly the prevalence of early replacement of fentanyl patch in this cancer center and secondly the reasons for early replacement. From 3,514 patients with a fentanyl patch, I analyzed 739 with complete datasets. They were in average 71 years old, had mostly cancer and a hospital stay of 14 days in average. I analyzed 2,250 fentanyl patches. Of all fentanyl patches, 7.4% were replaced after 48 hours. Patients with an early replacement were significantly younger, they obtained higher mean dosages of fentanyl and more rescue medication. I distributed 98 questionnaires within the wards. 57 were returned, about two-thirds from nurses and one-third from physicians. They evoked end-of-dosage pain and inadequate adhesion owing to an inappropriate skin property as most frequent reasons for an early replacement after 48 hours. We concluded that in the absence of physiological reasons and pharmacological reasons, poor sticking of fentanyl patch may mimic end of dosage failure after 48 hours and prompt its early patch replacement. <laughs>